Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of August 15, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, yeah, I know this is midway of the month. Hard to believe, isn't it? Okay, Aries, first thing I see for you guys, you are surrounded by a lot of people. Um, fire signs, your fellow fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, definitely coming into play. Um, and some of you, a Capricorn may or may not resonate as well as an Aquarius. Um, this is a week of moving forward. Stop procrastinating. Someone close to you is coming in for an unexpected offer of assistance, as well as what at first looks like a disappointment turns into a blessing in disguise. You're looking at good luck and abundance and the signing of a legal contract, some scattered energy, but good high vibration scattered energy. So let's get started. Aries. First card up, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Money in addition to, this is kind of like an abundance card, okay? Eight representing that abundance. Um, this could be the sale of an item. This could be a side hustle, second job, commission checks, bonus checks, anything like that. But this is definitely money in addition to. And with that, I have the Queen of Pentacles indicating financial stability. Also throwing out, again, that Aquarius energy. Uh, some kind of good luck attached with this, okay? And with that, I have a Taurus energy here with the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords tells me that you're happy, go lucky, carefree. Some of you may be taking a day off just to be you or go shopping or just to enjoy the day, okay? And we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups, happy union. Happy union. Don't shoot the messenger. This is reuniting with someone from your past. And it's someone you are de delighted and thrilled to reconnect with. Center of the reading. We have the emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type of person. But honestly, this is someone that kind of shows up and saves the day for you. And with that, we have the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles says, if you guys have been juggling financially... Those days are almost over. There's something coming in. There's some kind of new money coming in to bring in some relief. It's kind of like the ship is finally in sight. Okay. And then we have the six of wands. Beautiful. Total victory. Complete success. Some of you are surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by in the spotlight. Okay. Maybe doing some public speaking, something like that, but it definitely screams victory and success. And with that, we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups coming in with a strong offer of love for you guys. A cancer may or may not resonate here. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you are absolutely in an era and under a time frame of the new beginning in finances. So, all right, Aries, this energy is looking wonderful. Let's go a little bit further. Only major arcana you've gotten here so far is that Emperor. Let's go further with these messages. Let's see why these cards are here. Starting up top with that Eight of Pentacles. All right, Aries, we have the Nine of Swords. You're in your head too much. Overthinking things, causing a loss of sleep. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You're working, you're gaining, uh, planting the seed, watching it grow. Some of you are in for raises and or promotions. And we have on that page of Swords, Two of Swords. Moro says, stop procrastinating. This is making decisions that you've been putting off for way too long. With that, we have that Six of Cups energy coming in with the Seven of Cups telling me you have options. You have options in many different areas. So on that note, I want you to slow down and think your decisions through. But this also tells me that what you've been manifesting since like the first part of the year, or perhaps spring, is now coming to fruition. Okay? And in the center of the reading, we have the Six of Swords, leaving the troubled waters, heading off into the calm. Some of you doing some traveling, and you're not traveling alone. On that Two of Pentacles, there it is. You've got this twice, guys. That Six of Pentacles in the spotlight. Total victory and complete success. Love it. And on that first Six of Wands, you have the Three of Wands. 
looking over the past and what you're looking for well of course you're waiting for your ship to come in but you're looking to see what worked well for you and what didn't work well and and you're taking and you're pulling from that so you're applying the past to your present and then we have on the king of cups we have the star wish fulfillment you know what they say when you wish upon the star this is total wish fulfillment for you guys and we have the Ace of Pentacles coming in with the wheel, bringing in that good luck and abundance. The wheel is finally turning in your favor. This is also indicating a partnership, whether it's in your love life or whether it's in your work or career. Center of your reading bonus, we have, look at here, doesn't get better than that, the Magician. The magician says you get everything you want and desire. It's right there in front of you. This is the highest card in the tarot deck. Aries, I mean, you almost have a flawless week ahead. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, JackieTomlin.com, if you're seeking personal readings, guys, be warned of scammers in my comment sections. You have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.